cycling now. We are the Royal British Legion fundraiser. Pedal to Paris is uh, it has indeed kicked off this morning. Uh, they cycle all the way to the French capital to raise funds for ex-serving army personnel. It began in London this morning. Over 200 participants took place, hoping to reach the finish line in Paris by Monday. Well, Rosie Wright was one of them. She's indeed. done this herself. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. She has actually done it. So let's go start line, Eltham Palace, South East London, earlier this morning. This is what happened. Well, the excitement is mounting in Eltham Palace. Over 200 riders are preparing to pedal 285 miles all the way to Paris. Let's find out why. Teresa from the Royal British Legion joins me now. A lot of preparation's gone into today. Absolutely. The Royal British Legion, it's our 26th time. So we've had a lot of experience, but we couldn't do it without all these amazing people turning out to raise money for us. And, you know, we are the only ride where they close the Champs-Élysées. They only do that for the Tour de France and the Royal British Legion. So it's an incredible arrival in Paris for these guys, but they've got an awful lot of pedalling to do before they get there. Well, let's speak to one of those pedalers, Teresa. Thank you very much. He had to come over with his bike because they are literally about to set off. Why are you doing this? Well, I did the support crew last year um, as I'm a community fundraiser for the Royal British Legion, and uh, I saw it was a challenge. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. Um, it's an excellent event that the Royal British Legion organised, and I thought, I've just got to do it. I've just heard behind me they said we're going to get rolling shortly. How much preparation's gone into today? Months. When I signed up on the coach, I was actually still drunk when I signed up for it. <laughs> but um, I didn't even have a bike, so I had to start from scratch. But it's been good. It's been very good. And just tell me why you're, why you're doing it. Well, I, as I said, I work for the Royal British Legion, and it's an excellent cause. It supports the armed forces community, past and present, and it's worth supporting. And also, it's for remembrance as well. And you're ex-service yourself? Yes, um, especially this is the 40th year um, of the Falklands War. So when we stop off at some of the villages and have a, a few you know, remembrance services, it will be time to reflect on you know, things that have happened in the past. Good luck. Anything you're nervous about? Hills. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. We'll get those quads going. Thank you very much, Andy, for speaking to me. Teresa as well. Look at all of this. They're getting their final sort of briefings, information, and imminently they will be pushing off all the way to Paris.